welcome back to our series learn sql server in 60 days this is day 12 of our series that's learn sql server in 60 days so far we have covered all the basic con concepts which are required for the uh, sql server programmer we have covered the different things like how to create database how to create table how to uh, query the data how to update the table how to insert the data right and we have seen how to uh, use the joins how to work on the different kind of uh, left outer join right outer join and full outer join so we have covered all the basic concept now it's time to move a step further now we are moving to one step further right so in this one we'll be talking about the different kind of sql server object like a programmability object to be honest so programmability thing like uh, how we can uh, write the code in a sql basically so basically all this thing when we write a uh, sql code in a in a systematic stepwise manner we call that kind of a uh, code as a tsql that's a transact sql code right now we are moving to transact sql part so there are different kind of object we have in a sql server for programmability purpose like uh, we are having the procedure we are having the functions we are having the trigger so a lot of things are there in sql server we have so we will move one by one right uh, now today uh, i am going to talk about the a very important and very basic thing which requires to know for the every sql programmer and that is a function okay so let's start it right function in a sql server so what is function function are the uh, set of a sql st statements right functions are the set of a sql uh, statements which takes the input as a parameter and which gives the return as a res result set basically so let me repeat once function are the set of a sql statement which takes the input as a parameter and which performs some calculation and which returns some data that uh, data might be a single uh, single value or the data might be a table right so it depends on our requirement and how we have written okay so there are two kind of function in sql server one function one type of function is called as the system defined function right next is user defined function So system defined functions functions are those functions which are defined by the SQL server which are a free defined in SQL server which we don't need to write which are already came when we have installed the SQL server when we have created the SQL server database right so uh, there are a different kind of categories we have in the uh, system defined function right I will show you once we'll move from the user defined function. So user defined function next category of function which are the functions which are created by user name itself suggests that user defined which are defined by the user. So uh, those function which are created by the user that all uh, that all functions come into the category of user defined function. So in user defined function we are having a different kind of function like a scalar. We can create a user defined scalar function we can create user defined uh, inline table value function then uh, multi, multi set table value function right so scalar means if any user defined function is retaining a single value then that kind of category of function we can call it as the scalar user defined function so uh, we can uh, say uh, if any function is retaining a string numeric integer or date time or any value but it, if it is retaining a single value which is created by the user that kind of function we can call as the scalar function next is inline table value function 
if function definition doesn't contain any logic it just pulling the data from one table and it just giving us a result so inline query is there we can call it an inline table value function which is created by user next is multi set table value function is a kind of a function where we can write our own business logic and we can get a return we can get a result as a table for example i am having a comma separated values and i want to know what are the different uh, values in that one i want the data as a output as a row right so i need to write a lo lot of complex uh, logic there to perform that operation so that kind of category of logic or that kind of category of function come into the multi set table function it returns the table right so okay uh, okay so you may have question that where i can find this kind of uh, functions in sql server let's go to any database i am having a test underscore demo in database in this demo database there is a option called as the programmability i can go to the programmability section and there i can see a function option right if you expand this function option you will see the four kind of categories of a function so if you click on the system function you will see a different categorization of a function so let's go one by one aggregate function aggregate function are those function which give us the aggregate data for example if you want to perform some average uh, some count or some max or some minimum operation or some summing operation on the data you can always go for the aggregate function these are these are created by the system next configuration function are those function which are uh, getting to know the configuration of a sql server let's say if i want to know the name of a server i can query the function the server name if i want to know what are the different options value here so i just uh, i just i can just query that option function like that date first and version number and all those kind of thing that all function come into the category of a configuration function next there are there are a few uh, cursor function we have in sql server when we work on the cursors we need to have some function and we can use this kind of function for performing those operation next is data and time function data and time function are the functions in a sql server these are the one new one category of a system function where we can use this function to perform some date related operation like if i want to know the month from a date i can use a month if i want to know the year from a day i can go phone i can use the year function if i want to know the day of a day of a day uh, date basically i can use the date function so date part and date and all this kind of other function next if i want to perform some mathematical calculation i can uh, go to the mathematical function section then i can see a different kind of a function here i can use any function to perform the different kind of mathematical op operation if i want to uh, perform some uh, flooring operation or if i want to uh, do some square i can use this kind of option or function here to perform uh, my requirement next is metadata function are the function which are uh, system related basically yeah of course so if i want to know the what is the database id of my database if i want to know the what is the current database name what is the file id and what is the file name different metadata function object id all those kind of function are coming to the category of metadata function next are other data function these are some different uh, function which uh, are required but which are not in any specific category like is null function if i want to check the null values or not if i want to check some if i want to uh, return a null if some value matches then i need to use null if function so like that we are having a different other function cast function if i want to do some conversion colleagues if i want to return a first non null value the hierarchical id we are having a different function like a two string like this other uh, string of string function we are having l trim l length if i want to know the length of a fun string left cat these are different kind of function don't need to worry about the different categories of some function when you work on the actual problem actual real time problem you will get to know and you will be familiar with all these different kind of function okay so we have covered all uh, system function now let's talk about the scalar function so scalar function are those function which are user defined risk right so in uh, we can create a user defined scalar function how to create just right click on the scalar value function and select the first option when you will select it this is the uh, syntax which you have to right here so you have to pass the name of function i'm passing as the second fn scalar 
function next you need to pass the parameter because you need to perform some operation on that if i'll uh, pass the parameter so syntax is also given uh, you just need to para int right this is the parameter i defined what should it return it should return me int value right um, okay so um, perform some operation if you want to I'm define uh, variable declare i is equal to int is equal to 5 and I want to return the multiplication of at the rate pair into the i right so if I create so this is the scalar valued function is a defined function so if I'll execute it and uh, if I want to run it how you can run it I can run it like this select uh, function name I need to pass the value for this so um, if I'm passing the 4 so what will I get I will get 4 into 5 that's a 20 right so this 4 into 5 20 so this is right so sometime it required to pass this schema name if you will execute it you will get the result like a 20 so like this we can create so this function is written in a single value so we can call it as the user defined scalar function right next uh, next we can create a table valid function there are two kind of table value function one is new inline table valid function and the multi uh, statement table valid function if i want to create the first one let's create it first of all you need to give the name to the function i'm giving a name as the 5n inline okay and then uh, pass the parameter if you have i have the para uh, and uh, int right so it return a stable what value should return it should return me like a call one um, then call two like that okay so this is in line why it is called as inline table because we are not defining any table structure here right so if i execute it the function will be created and if i want to run it how i can run it i just need to pass the value for value for parameter i'm passing it as a 2 and i need to use dbo in front of the function because sometimes it doesn't recognize it and if i execute it this okay as this is a table valued function we need to write like this we need to write in a form class so it is returning 2 and 4 right and passing 2 2 plus 2 so this is called as a table valued inline function like that we can write multi uh, we can also write this one multi statement table valued function so multi value multi uh, statement table valued function uh, is a diff is a kind of a category of a function where user can uh, write their own customized logic in a function and return the data i am writing data like uh, fn fn data great uh, pass the parameter so para int so here you need to define the table structure first of all you need to give the name of a table tab one okay and define the table structure here like a call one and call to integrate uh, the re only requirement here is that you can perform any logic here that but but at last you just need to insert the data in it in the table so i'm returning i'm inserting the data in this and if i'll create this function function will be created right and uh, if i want to return the data from this how can i create and i can write like this two so like this we can create the table value to multi-statement function so uh, i hope you understood uh, different kind of function in sql server and how to create them how to use them right so hope you like and enjoyed our video short video
if you like our video please don't forget to subscribe us it will motivate us to create new and upload new videos as soon as so you'll also get notification from us okay so thanks for watching have a great day